from the two seasons of The Mandalorian, we were able to see just how tough Din Djarin is, especially with his babysitting and adventure of taking care of Grogu. On his journey, he met a lot of baddies, and he was able to best each and every one of them. So you must be wondering, how would he fare against some other characters from the Star Wars universe? What are his advantages? What tricks might help him to win a battle against him or her? Well, today we have top 10 characters Manda would beat in a battle. Enjoy! Number 10. Grand Moff Tarkin Starting off our list with one of the easy ones, a foe that Mando could beat without breaking a sweat. He's not some strong fella, but he was definitely worth mentioning, and we'll tell you why. He's just a human, an old man who's way past his physical prime. We wouldn't even know if he can clench a fist at this point. And for someone as skilled and battle-hardened as Mando, Tarkin would be no match whatsoever. However, we decided to include him in our list because of his status in the franchise, and he was one of the few people aside from Chief Palpatine who were able to restrain or even halt an enraged Darth Vader. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. <coughs> and he would go even further by giving him commands too, thus reserving a spot on our list. Number 9. Jabba the Hutt Considering that Jabba the Hutt can be killed with nothing but chains, the biggest underworld boss of Tatooine should be nothing more than a target practice for Mando with his equipped suit. Now, yes, Jabba has hundreds or even thousands of bodyguards around him, which are mostly mercenaries, and a few stormtroopers put in the mix due to his connections with the Galactic Empire. However, this would pose no threat to Mando, because we've seen how great his skills are when it comes to tricking the ones from his own kind and infiltrating any place he sets his mind to. And plus, with the experience he has, killing Jabba shouldn't be too hard for him to say the least. Number 8. Bosk Mando and Bosk, who's also a fellow bounty hunter, would not go head to head by nature, but rather if some certain events occur. In the likes of one of them gives the other a funny look, they're both chasing the same bounty, or the one has something that the other one wants or needs. Bosk is a Trandoshan, and they particularly lack some sense of compassion and a strong moral compass. The enjoyment of the hunt is the thing they like the most, and this is probably the sole reason for him to become a bounty hunter in the first place. Trandoshans are known for their size and brutal power, and Bosk is a very strong fighter and can handle a blaster pretty well. However, Mando would be able to take him down. Bosk is tough, but not as how stubborn Din can be at some times. Number 7. Chewbacca Chewbacca has to be one of the favorite characters for many, with one of the reasons being his personality. He is a Wookiee, their large and powerful species, and very skillful warriors at that too. Much like Chewbacca, the best sidekick in the whole galaxy if you're asking Han Solo. Okay. Han, you, you put those on. The combination of expertise with his bowcaster and the raw strength Chewbacca has might overwhelm Mando, but we think that Mando would have more resources and more reliable options to handle Chewie. But he could prove to be a hard nut to crack, as unlike Trandoshans, the Wookiees are more intelligent of a species. All in all, Mando would eventually have a trick up his sleeve that would surprise even Chewie, and that might be the deal breaker in their head-to-head -head battle, considering the variety in Mando's arsenal. Number 6. Count Dooku He is the Emperor's apprentice who led the Separatists on behalf of his master against the Jedi and the Republic during the Clone Wars. Now, whether Count Dooku knew about both sides of Palpatine's play in the battle is highly debatable, and we would probably never find out. However, one thing we do know, and is not debatable, is the fact that Mando could beat Dooku in a battle. Like his master, Dooku is incredibly adept with a lightsaber and possesses the abilities given to him by the dark side. However, when we take into consideration Mando's weapons designed to take down Jedi and also his fighting skills, Dooku would fall by his hands because Dooku lacks the raw power of his master, and we can all be sure that someone would pay a hefty amount for this bounty. Number 5. Captain Phasma As a secondary antagonist goes, Captain Phasma looked very promising. But sadly, she never got the screen justice she deserved in the sequel trilogy. Disobedient. Disrespectful. Traitor! There were some promising moments for her in the future that would define her character, but 
she never got the chance, and those moments turned into a pushover character that got flushed down the garbage chute, and because of that, she got defeated by a less experienced defector, unfortunately. Thus, from what we've seen on the big screen, she's mostly flash and no substance, just like her shining armor, and these are the reasons that would define how the battle between Mando and her would go. She'll not be able to win against Mando in a fair fight, that's for sure. Mando appears to have more in his arsenal, and a wider variety of capabilities, despite her being regarded as one of the best stormtroopers in the First Order. Number 4. General Grievous Much like Captain Phasma, from what we've seen from the side of General Grievous, he's all talk and threats and not so much action. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. His latest version of evolution was put down by Obi-Wan Kenobi without much effort. He was able to shoot him with a blaster. Now we know Obi-Wan is a skillful Jedi swordsman, but when it comes to shooting, he's not that good. And knowing he was able to shoot General Grievous just like that, a more skilled and trained shooter like Mando would demolish him right from the start. Despite Grievous being trained by Count Dooku, Mando is more than trained and equipped to be able to handle a one-on-one -on -one combat against a Jedi. Thus, there are not many advantages that General Grievous can show on the table. Mando would be able to do a quick work out of him as he's trained to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people like him. Number 3. Asajj Ventress Another character with one of the tougher journeys in life is Asajj Ventress, born a night sister of Dathomir. She was taken away as a baby, as in aftermath, she got trained by both Jedi and Sith. She was also an apprentice of Count Dooku, but when he tried to kill her, she has gone back to the Night Sisters, a move that would unintentionally lead to the return of Darth Maul and an end of her clan. Now, yes, she's an effective fighter, one who often wields twin lightsabers in combat. In a battle against Mando, her downfall would be her outward arrogance, which she uses to mask her crippling self-doubt. This is the advantage many of her enemies have already exploited in their battles, and it was one of the reasons they were able to defeat her. Knowing how Mando thinks and moves in battle, he would also do the same, and it would make his life easier when he confronts her in a head-to-head -head battle. Number 2. Darth Maul Emperor Palpatine has gone through more sidekicks than Batman, and one of his best has to be Darth Maul. This is my apprentice, Darth Maul. Unfortunately, he got the worst deal out of all of them. He got cut in half by Obi-Wan before he could even get the chance to show the world what he was made of and what he was capable of. However, in the Clone Wars and in Rebels, he got his chance to do this. He was even a ruler of Mandalore for a time being, but his reign didn't go so well thanks to the Emperor. We all know that Maul is a very good fighter, and he's very agile. However, from what we've seen in the Mandalorian series, Mando has more than enough in his arsenal that would put Darth Maul on the losing end of the battle. But he reserves the second spot on our list as one of the toughest opponents Mando can face in the Star Wars universe, and would have to sweat a little bit more than before if he wants to end the battle standing on his two feet. Number 1. Boba Fett Boba Fett has to be one of the most popular characters in the franchise, and a fan favorite for many from his first appearance on the big screen. However, many think this was because of his interesting suit, and that he looked awesome. The prequel trilogy told more about him, especially about how he was raised by Jango Fett as a young clone of his at the time when Jango got killed. Boba was treated as a son of his, even though he didn't have to. He grew up during the Clone Wars and became a renowned bounty hunter, just like his father. This is the impression fans were given. However, the only thing we saw Boba do on screen was him being launched into a Sarlacc pit by a virtually blind Han Solo. From the big screen, he's more hype, while Mando has been seen winning many fights on the big screen. Thus, simply put, Mando could beat Boba 10 out of 10 times, hands down. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below which other character you think Mando could beat that's not on our list. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit that bell icon for any future videos on this channel. Thank you for watching and staying with us till the end.